Those new restrictions going into effect Saturday, restaurants and bars, they're all trying to figure out how to adapt once again. But one local establishment has caught the attention of city officials for a job well done. Jade Cunningham explains the safety measures measures Finn McCool's has been taking since day one. The past few months at Finn McCool's have been hard, especially when they had to close one day before St. Patrick's Day. So that's one of the biggest days of the year. We do a block party, we do everything, and then we shut down beforehand. That's kind of tough. They wanted to open with phase two, but stayed closed a few weeks to make sure all safety measures were in place. We want to be open. The bar has to earn money, but the number one important thing is the health of our staff. If we don't have that, then we're going to close down. Staff get temperature checks daily. Tables are spaced out and barriers are placed where customers order. But the biggest and toughest change was closing the bar since it accounts for so much of his business. It's really part of who we are. But honestly, it was a no brainer from the start because we do understand that people have to socially distance and you really just can't do that sitting at a bar. All the chairs are all chained so no one can move them and we don't want people just to stand at the bar either. I spoke with a few customers who didn't want to go on camera but they tell me they notice the extra precautions being taken and they appreciate it. The mayor does too who applauded their work during Wednesday's briefing. Finn McCool's for example. Uh, they do not have bar seating. It's table seating only. This is the practice that they already started with and initiated, and they're doing very well. The changes have limited sales, and there is worry about business. With all the restrictions, it is tough, but everyone understands the restrictions are necessary for the longevity of the bar and for the health of the customers. But those at Finn McCool say they wouldn't do it differently because safety will always be a priority. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Patterson says the inside gets a deep cleaning every morning and the outside has also been updated to welcome customers with fans and tarps to block that sun. And